Isn't clomiphene an aromatase inhibitor? Now, if you don't know what an aromatase inhibitor is, it's a drug that blocks your body's ability to make estrogen. And a lot of men are put on this when they're on testosterone replacement because testosterone can get aromatized and turn into excess estrogen. It doesn't end well if you have too low of testosterone or too high. And so in this video, what I'm going to do is unpack some safer ways that you can use in clomiphene to stabilize estrogen. It is not an aromatase inhibitor, but I'll tell you some of the benefits for both men and women when it comes to fertility, muscle mass, and just having hormone optimization. So I'm Reagan Archibald, founder of Ageless Future. I love to help you figure out ways that you can optimize your health in the shortest amount of time possible without risking your future. And so we've got a great facility where I've got a medical team that is expert in functional medicine, peptide therapy, and regenerative medicine. And so if you want to learn more, just go to agelessfuture.com. And I really appreciate you being on this channel because we're seeing so many comments and I learn from you. So if you have things that you want to discuss, leave us a comment and we'll make a video on it. So let's talk about aromatase inhibitors. So and clomiphene is called a CIRM, a Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. And that's kind of a mouthful, but it's not going to be an aromatase inhibitor. It doesn't block estrogen, but it is working on these receptors that help modulate the release and production of estrogen. But aromatase inhibitors like anestrozole or letrozole, what these things do is they prevent the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. Now, at the onset, you'd say, well, this should be pretty helpful. But one of the things that I found in the side effects, I've had a lot of men who've been on them for years, and we looked at their estradiol. And estradiol, there's three types of estrogen in the body, but estradiol is E2. It's the active version of estrogen. And what happens is if you reduce estrogen too low, you can end up with joint pain, you can end up with osteoporosis. You're more prone to having a breakdown in bones. We'll see a decrease in libido, decrease in cognitive function, because estrogen is a very protective molecule for the brain. And if you don't believe me, just ask a postmenopausal woman who has very low estrogen, ask them if they get brain fog, and they will tell you exactly what it feels like. It impacts the skin, it impacts your mood if your estrogen's too low. And so one of the reasons why you wanna look for alternatives outside of some of these aromatase inhibitors is so that you can maintain your vitality. So what enclomiphene does is it directs estrogen so that you have the adequate levels. It doesn't suppress it and nor does it activate it, but it does seem to keep it balanced both in men and women. Now here's a study, this one's called Effects of Enclomiphene Citrate on Serum Testosterone and Estradiol Levels in Men with Secondary Hypogonadism. This was done at the Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. What they did is they took men with low testosterone testosterone and they gave them enclomiphene and they're monitoring changes in testosterone, estradiol, LH and FSH. And what they concluded after observation was that enclomiphene significantly increased testosterone and luteinizing hormone while maintaining or slightly lowering estradiol levels. It restored hormone balance without eliminating estrogen, confirming it works differently from aromatase inhibitors. And so that's what we've seen generally. It's not a dramatic decrease in estradiol for you men, but it does lower it to the area that's safer and probably more effective for your overall health and vitality. Because if you think about how this works, instead of crushing estrogen, you're just removing it out of your body, which we don't wanna do. Hormones are a long-term communication network. Hormones are what allows peptide signaling to work better. It allows for nutrient absorption. It allows you to protect your brain, your heart, your muscles, that ageless axis that we talk about often. But in clomiphene, it can actually help you have healthy estrogen levels and give you a little boost in testosterone. And it's very ideal. A lot of men who are coming off testosterone, you almost can get what's called anabolic resistance where you lose the effect of testosterone. You start getting man boobs and you start to notice all these impacts of moodiness and you just don't feel that same spark. And that's what we find if you've been on testosterone for long periods of time without replenishing the LH and FSH pathways. 
And so this is where if you're ever on testosterone, using some of these peptides like gonadorelin, kispectin, and clomiphene to keep your body's own production going, you can prevent this anabolic resistance that happens in many cases. And by taking an aromatase inhibitor, we found that it almost makes things worse. And so in clomiphene, what it does for women, it acts on the hypothalamus. So you actually have this greater ability to stimulate ovulation because you're increasing FSH and LH and you wanna use it at the right time of the month because you don't want them increased all the time. And so you'll have fewer side effects than you will with like Clomid, which is a very common or clomiphene. And clomiphene does seem to be the safest molecule. Most women, they wouldn't use an aromatase inhibitor unless maybe you had uh, estrogen related breast cancer, then you want to talk to your doctor about that. If you think about women, if you want to activate fertility, if you want to increase testosterone and build some muscle mass without being on testosterone, in some cases, in clomiphene can be very helpful. But once again, this is not medical advice. This is where we'd want to run your labs, work with licensed physicians who have prescriptive abilities to get you on the right dose and to do the proper cycling so that you're not messing up your overall fertility window. And clomiphene does seem to support the natural rhythm of estrogen. And one of the things we found in several couples that we've worked with, we found that just by using in clomiphene, we see a dramatic improvement in their ability to conceive. Now, we've had patients who have gone through several cycles of IVF and they've had it work for the first child, and then the second child or third child, the IVF just wasn't effective. And after going through two or sometimes three rounds of IVF that have failed, what we found is that just by removing the blocks in the body, by removing the interferences, cleaning up the diet, getting rid of stress best we can, by removing the way that you respond to stress, and then by activating these pathways within clomiphene, they've been able to conceive. And that was unheard of. Now we're seeing that there's uh, great benefits for men who want their ideal body composition in using in clomiphene. And actually, if you are someone who's digging into it and you're like, well, I don't want to be on an aromatase inhibitor. I want to build muscle, but I don't like being on testosterone anymore. Well, I've got a great video on that. And it it actually talks about how you can use in clomiphene to increase testosterone and maintain your muscle mass. And we'll provide a link on the show notes below. And so jump into that video so you can know exactly how to take in clomiphene. I'm Reagan Archibald and I'll see you there.